All right, so for this one, we'll set this up as 3x plus 2. It's dividing into 6x cubed um, minus 5x squared minus 3x plus 4. Okay. Um, whoops, I didn't give myself quite enough room there. But anyway, so we get 2x. Oh, sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself here. So what do I multiply 3x by to get 6x cubed? It should be 2x up here. So 2x times 3, or sorry, 2x squared. 2x squared times 3x is 6x cubed. 2x squared times 2 is plus 4x squared. And then I want to subtract those. And so that'll give me 0. And then 5x squared minus 4x squared is negative 9x squared. So I need to multiply 3x by negative 3x to get negative 9x squared. So, um, and I'm going to bring down this 3x here. And so when I multiply those, I get negative 9x squared um, minus 6x. And then I want to change the signs here. So I end up getting 3x plus 4. So I just do plus 1 here. So 1 times 3x plus 2 is 3x plus 2. And then when I subtract that, I get 2 as my remainder. So this, it says give the answer as the quotient plus the remainder divided by the divisor. So the quotient is 2x squared minus 3x plus 1 plus, and then I want the remainder, which is 2, divided by the divisor, which is 3x plus 2. So, um, so this thing here is equal to this answer. So that's 53a. All right, so I'm going to erase that to do 53b. And I'll give myself a little more space this time. Oh. So if I do six, uh, sorry, I was doing the same problem twice. So I would do um, 3x to the fourth plus 2x cubed plus 4x squared plus x minus 5. And again, if we were missing any of these terms, we would just add a 0 uh, for the, like, if we were missing the x cubed term, we'd put 0x cubed so that we had a placeholder there to, so we don't get out of place here. So we're dividing that by x squared plus 0x, there's my placeholder, plus 2. Okay, what do I need to multiply x squared by to get 3x to the fourth? So it's going to be 3x squared. So 3x squared times x squared is um, 3x to the fourth. 3x squared times 0x is plus 0x cubed. And then 3x squared times 2 is plus 6x squared. And then I want to subtract all of those things. That gives me negative 2x squared plus x. I can bring that down. And, um, oh, sorry, I forgot. Um, 2x cubed minus 0x is still 2x cubed. And so then um, 2x cubed, to get 2x cubed, I need to multiply x squared by 2x. So 2x times x squared is 2x cubed. 2x times 0x is plus 0x squared. Um, 2x times 2 is plus 4x. Um, then I want to subtract those things and see what we get here. So I'm going to have minus 2x squared um, minus 3x. And we'll go ahead and bring that minus 5 down. And then I want to multiply um, x squared by negative 2 to get negative 2x squared. So I'll get negative 2x squared um, plus 0x or minus 0x, however you want to think of it. And then negative 2 times 2 is minus 4. And then I want to change all the, subtract that. So that's going to make this, change all these signs. And then I'm going to get a remainder minus 3x minus 1. Um, so if I write that as the quotient plus the remainder divided by the divisor, I'll get 3x squared plus 2x minus 2 plus my remainder is negative 3x minus 1 over the divisor, which is x squared plus 2. Okay, so the next one is to use synthetic division. So for synthetic division, um, we would set it up like this. So we put so since we have this x minus three as the factor, that means that x equal three 
is the zero that we're dividing out by. So we'll put a three there, and then we'll just read off the coefficients of this quadratic or quartic. So one, and then x cubed has a coefficient of three. X squared has a coefficient of minus one. Set x has a coefficient of seven, and then the constant term is two. Okay, so we start by dropping down the one. Then three times one is three. Three plus three is six. Three times six is eighteen. Eighteen minus one is seventeen. Seventeen times three is fifteen. 51, um, use my calculator for that one, <laughs> 7 plus 51 is 58, and then 58 times 3 is 174, 174 plus 2 is 176. Okay, and so what we've done here is we read off this bottom part is the, um, is the cubic, so we'll have x cubed plus 6x squared plus 17x plus 58. And then our remainder is 176 over the divisor, which is x minus 3. So, um, so this bottom row of numbers gives you the coefficients of the um, quotient. And then the quotient, since we divided on a linear term, the quotient is 1 degree less than the, um, the polynomial we started with. Okay, let's do another one. So for this one, we're dividing by x plus 2. So that means that the 0 is negative 2. I'm saying it's a 0. That's uh, maybe not the right word. We're testing the 0, negative 2. Maybe we could think of it that way. OK, and so we're going to put the minus 2 here. And then we're going to read off the coefficient. So the coefficient of the fifth power is 2. Coefficient of the fourth power is 0. The third power of x coefficient is 0 squared power, uh, second power of x coefficient is 1 the linear coefficient is minus 5 and the constant term is 1 okay so we'll do drop the 2 down negative 2 times 2 is negative 4 so I got negative 4 sorry negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8 so we get 0 plus 8 is 8 negative 2 times 8 is negative 16 so we get negative 15 negative 15 times negative 2 is positive 30 um, we subtract 5 from that, we get 25. 25 times negative 2 is um, negative 50. And then we get a 49 from that. Oh, negative 49, sorry. Negative 49. OK. And so then we can read off the quotient. The quotient will be given by these uh, numbers here at the bottom. So we'll have 2x to the fourth minus 4x cubed plus 8x squared minus 15x plus 25 and then plus our remainder, which is negative 49, over the divisor, which was x plus 2. All right, use the remainder theorem to evaluate that polynomial at f equal uh, f of negative 2. So the remainder theorem says that, in other words, it says that f of negative 2 is equal to um, the remainder um, uh, of this division, f of x, divided by x plus 2. So if we do that synthetic division, the, res the remainder that we get will be the same thing as f of minus 2. And so we can do that by using synthetic division. So, um, so I get negative 2, and then so we have 3x fourth plus 0x cubed plus 2x squared minus 4x plus 1. So let's go ahead and do that synthetic division. 3 times minus 2 is minus 6. Minus 6. Minus 6 times minus 2 is positive 12. 14. 14 times minus 2 is um, negative 28. Uh, negative 28 plus negative 4 is negative 32. Times minus 2. Okay. Is positive 64. So that gives me 65. So this remainder here, by the remainder theorem, is equivalent to f of minus 2. So f of minus 2 is equal to 65. Um, use the remainder theorem to determine if 5 or negative or negative 5 or 2i are zeros of the polynomial. So, um, so to be zeros of the polynomial, that means that um, so they would be zeros if when we divide by them. So the remainder theorem 
is the one that says that uh, the remainder is the same thing as evaluating the function. So I'm going to just do remainder theorem again. So we'll just do a synthetic division. So I want to do um, negative 5 as the 0. I'm dividing it into this polynomial. Uh, 1x to the 4th plus 6x cubed plus 9x squared plus 24x plus 20. And so, um, so I'll drop the 1 down. 1 times negative 5 is negative 5. I get a 1. I get a negative 5. I get a 4. Um, 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. I get a 4 when I add those. Negative 5 times 4 is negative 20, so I do get a 0. So that means that yes, x equal negative 5 is a 0 of the polynomial. All right, so the next one I'm going to check to see if 2i is a 0. So I'm just going to erase part of this, and then we'll check that out. So, um... Maybe I should have given myself more space because um, sometimes these blow up on you. So 1, and then I have 2i. So then this is 6 plus 2i. Uh, 6 plus 2i times 2i. Okay, so I'll get 12i minus 4. Um, 9 plus 12i minus 4 is 12i plus 5. 5 times, uh, 12i plus 5 times 2i will be negative 24 plus 10i. And then I add that, I get 10i. 10i times 2i is negative 20. And so then that gives me 0. So, um, so yes, 2i is a 0. Um, next, use the factor theorem to determine if x plus 3 or x minus 3i are factors of that polynomial. Okay, so for the factor theorem, this is kind of going in the opposite direction. I will know that x plus 3 is a factor if 0 or if um, x equal negative 3 is a 0. So I can test that. So what is f of minus 3? So I just am going to plug that into my calculator. Um, and so on this minus 3, I need to make sure that I am uh, using parentheses properly. So I'll just write it out what I'm typing in. So I'm going to do minus 3 to the third plus 4 times minus 3 squared plus 9 times minus 3 plus 36. So when I plug that in, I got 18. Um, and so that means no, um, x plus 3 is not a factor. Okay, and then x minus 3i would be a factor if f of 3i is uh, equal to 0. So if I plug f of 3i in, I'll get um, 3i cubed plus 4 times 3i squared plus 9 times 3i plus 36. Um, so I can't plug this directly into my calculator, so we'll just compute it. So 3 cubed is 27, and i cubed is negative i. Um, then I have 4 times 3 squared. 3 squared is 9, so 4 times 9 is 36. And i squared is negative 1, so I get minus 36 for that. 9 times 3i is 27i, and plus 36. So I can see that that all is going to add to 0. So that means, yes, 3i is, oh, uh, x minus 3i is a factor. Find all the zeros of that function given that 2 is a 0. Okay, so I'm going to start this by doing synthetic division um, and dividing out that 2. So if I do, um, so um, 2 is a 0, and then I have 1, 4, oh, whoops, I'm on the wrong line here. Um, 4 minus 20, 33. Minus 18. Okay. 
So um, drop the 4 down. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 uh, times minus 20 is negative 12. Negative 12 times 2 is negative 24. And then that gives me 9. 9 times 2 is 18. So I get a 0 of 0. Um, then, so now I have um, x 4x squared minus 12x plus 9, and that's multiplied by x minus 2. I can see that I can pull out a 3 from that. Or sorry, no, I can't pull out a 3 from that. Um, maybe I can factor this guy. So can I factor into 2x and then 2x and then maybe 3 here? So that's going to give me 4x squared plus 6x plus 6x. So if I have minuses here and here, that'll do it. Okay. And so then my, um, oh yeah. So write it at the function as linear factors. So this is my function written as linear factors. Write a polynomial P of X of degree three in standard form with zeros, five minus two and two minus square root of two and two show all work. Okay, so um, I need a cubic, so I need, it needs to have x plus 5 as a factor, x plus square root of 2 as a factor, and x minus square root of 2 as a factor. So when I multiply that out, um, these two are, gonna, are a difference of squares, so it's going to multiply into x plus 2, or sorry, no, x minus 2, x squared minus 2. Okay, and now I'm going to multiply that out. So I'll multiply x by x squared to get x cubed, x times minus 2 to get minus 2x, x squared times 5 to get 5x squared, and 5x times minus 2 to get minus 10. So if I write that in descending order, so that gives me x cubed plus 5x squared minus 2x minus 10.